Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We have a sneak peek for you since November Sweeps will include some incredible narrative developments, according to spoilers for the young and the restless. Let's talk about what's coming up because I and our fans won't want to miss all the twists and turns. First of all, Phyllis Summers' goal to change her life will not succeed. The calm won't last long even if Phyllis was able to exert pressure on Tucker McCall to keep him at bay. Watchers can anticipate serious danger and a medical crisis as Tucker will finally retaliate and cause some havoc. There are hints that Chance Chancellor could come through for Phyllis, so keep an eye out to see if he will have to go through that agony in the hospital. Whatever happens, Summer Newman will undoubtedly become more infatuated with Chance, and we'll see how that influences Chance's relationship with Sharon Rosales. Is there a possibility that Sharon and Nick Newman will reunite in the future now that they are working closely together, and that Sharon is even more of his confidant than before? It will also be up to Adam Newman and Sally Spectra to decide if they can really start over as a couple. Regarding Claire Grace, additional information regarding her background and cunning plans will surface. It's evident that Claire is obsessed with the Newmans, so viewers will be curious to find out more about her plans. Victor Newman will then display his might and discipline his kids. The fictitious scenario of mental health decline will have some startling effects on the family. Victoria Newman may go completely renegade, and if Nate Hastings is ready, recruit him to do the same if Victor pushes her too far. Regarding the connection between Tucker and Manny Johnson, Devin Hamilton Winters might eventually establish it and feel inclined to cut Tucker off if he starts lying again. While Ashley Abbott, Eileen Davidson, tries to play Tucker and convince him that reconciliation is possible, Tucker always has a few tricks up his sleeve. Billy Abbott, though, won't put much faith in Ashley's scheme because she has already shown herself to be gullible about Tucker. Billy will prefer to concentrate on his own evil scheme against Tucker instead, although he might run into some problems. It will now come down to trust, and if Kyle Abbott Audra and Tucker can actually collaborate effectively now that he is totally committed to their partnership. The growing tension between Jack Abbott and Kyle's father-son dynamic may aid Audra in maintaining Kyle's support. We can anticipate Nina Webster's return to Geno City, which coincides with the November sweeps. Christine Blair's upcoming 40th anniversary episode, with Danny Romolotti and lots of romantic flashbacks, is expected to feature Nina. Chelsea Lawson will also be reunited with him since she is returning to Geno City shortly after being back with Billy. After spending so much time apart, would Chelsea and Billy be able to resume their romantic relationship? Kevin Fisher, Michael Baldwin, and Chloe Mitchell when Thanksgiving rolls around, Gloria Bardwell and Lauren Fenmore Baldwin will also be present. Furthermore, Daniel Romolotti Jr. and Lily Winters may become seriously strained as a result of Heather Stevens' return to the city with Lucy Romolotti. This is primarily due to Daniel's unresolved feelings for Heather, which will undoubtedly lead to issues. November Sweets will bring some huge excitement to Gino City, according to spoilers for the young and the restless. Stay in for updates on all the crazy news and crazy situations. There will be additional sizzling. Spoilers for Wednesday, October's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful indicate that while the last-minute arrangements are made for the fashion challenge, a few special visitors will make an appearance. As B&B &B prepares for its crossover with The Young and the Restless, let's chat about some well-known characters that will be joining the cast from Geno City. Since Lauren Fenmore Baldwin intends to make a significant purchase for Fenmore's, she will be given a golden ticket to this matchup. Lauren will choose to bring Esther Valentine to the event since she is permitted to bring a guest. It turns out that Esther has always coveted a Forrester original since she likes the exquisite designs created by Forrester Creations. Esther will go with Lauren as this is her big opportunity, and she is excited to watch the fashion battle. Lauren won't choose sides when it comes to who she thinks will win because she is friends with the Forrester family. 
Lauren says they should let the best man win because she won't be supporting Ridge or Eric Forrester. Lauren will be more concerned with determining which designs will work best for Fenmore's than with who will win. While Lauren and Esther are excited about the challenge, Katie Logan will warn Donna Logan in secret. Katie will pressure Donna to reveal the truth about Eric's dire situation, even if he is determined to keep Ridge and Brooke Logan in the dark. Although Donna will undoubtedly feel pressured to confess to Ridge and Brooke, it appears that she will cherish her vow to Eric more, at least for the time being. Since Eric believes that this is his fight, he doesn't want Katie and Donna to include anybody else. This is especially true for Brooke and Ridge, who might try to prevent Eric from participating in the fashion show. Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful indicate that Eric's terrible news will eventually slip out later, but he intends to complete the competition before Brooke and Ridge receive the latest information from Dr. Colin Colby. There will be more scorching in CDL. According to the Young and the rest of spoilers for Wednesday, October, Victor Newman, Eric Braden, will get a call from Nick Newman challenging his interpretation of the serpent drawing as a message for him. Nick will say that this is evidence that Victor needs his assistance because it will bring to memory a story he enjoyed as a child. Nick will imply that Victor cannot possibly believe Victoria Newman would betray him, but he will also imply that Victor cannot possibly trust Adam Newman. Nick will come to the realization that everything is set up, while Nicky Newman will press Victor to reveal the truth. Nick will be furious as he and Victoria have both been through hell. Nick is adamant that Victoria be given the whole truth, regardless of whether Adam and Nate Hustings are put to the test. Since he won't be ready to announce his strategy just yet, Victor will pressure Nick to join him. Victor will argue that he can't inform Victoria without telling Nate, despite Nick's objections. Nick will keep objecting and threatening to withhold her forgiveness from Victoria if she finds out on her own. Christine Blair Williams will acknowledge that her vacation to Portugal wasn't ideal at Crimson Lights, but she will sidestep the majority of Danny Romolotti's inquiries. Christine will be amazed at how Phyllis brainwashed Danny when the conversation shifts to Phyllis Summer's most recent attempt to make things better. Because of her dubious past, Christine won't be prepared to overlook Phyllis, but Danny will think she sincerely wants to change. Danny will get Christine to acknowledge that things got off to a good start since he will sense that she genuinely wants to talk about her trip. As Christine explored and enjoyed herself on the beach with Paul Williams, Doug Davidson, it looked like the good old days. But finally, their time together brought home to them just how far apart they had become. Christine will genuinely think Paul was the one who withdrew and stopped loving her. Danny will hold Christine's hand and reassure her that she will find out what to do next when she acknowledges that her marriage is over. After having a rough night in bed with Audra Charles, Kyle Abbott will change in her suite and inquire about Tucker McCall's takeover scheme. While Audra will be sure that she knows how to manage Tucker, Kyle will worry that he can't be trusted. When Kyle asks Audra if she's ever slept with Tucker, she'll be wondering if it would bother him if she says yes. Although Audra will be shocked that she allowed herself to be seduced, she will imply that perhaps Audra should have seduced Tucker instead. Kyle will conclude he's all in when Audra calls him a tool to an end and once more prods him to join the alliance. Kyle continues, saying he's sick of being ignored and that he intends to take charge of his future by assisting Audra and Tucker in seizing control of Jabot. Diane Jenkins Abbott will be surprised to learn that Ashley Abbott is back in Geno City at the Abbott Estate, but they will decide to keep the peace. Before Ashley decides she wants to go to Jack Abbott and Billy Abbott directly, Diane will give her information on all the recent events involving the Tuckers. On Wednesday's Y and R episode at the GTAC, Jack will return Tucker's listening device and caution him that Billy intends to expose him, but Tucker won't seem to care. Tucker may appear confident, but Jack will make him feel uncomfortable by implying that his opponent is afraid. Jack will be delighted to see his sister once he receives Ashley's text telling him to get home right now. 
Diane will also be attending the strategy session with Billy because they all need to present a unified front. Tucker will not be underestimated by Ashley, who will acknowledge that she came back because he reached out to her in an attempt to make things right. Jack won't like where this is going, especially if Ashley makes suggestions about utilizing that to her advantage. Jack will caution against feigning a rekindled relationship in an attempt to uncover Tucker's true intentions. Ashley will argue that she doesn't need Jack's approval, despite his insistence that he can't allow her do this. When Jack questions Kyle after he enters and meets Ashley, he will acknowledge that he was with Audra. Now that he isn't employed by Newman Media, Kyle won't see any excuses for not seeing Audra. Although Jack will concede that Kyle is free to date whoever he pleases, he will make hints that Kyle is capable of surpassing Audra. Ashley will see that Audra is Tucker's confidant and inquire as to if Kyle has thought of the potential that Audra is taking advantage of him whenever he jumps to Audra's defense. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.